Okay guys, here we are over at the little barn. This barn's 28 by 40. Um, he had it spray foam the other day and he had all his stuff out of it. It's a friend of mine that I've worked with for years. Um, and he asked us to pour his floor because he has all his stuff out. Imagine he's got it in that storage facility there, that little tent thing. So he wants to get the floor poured before he puts all his stuff back. Can't blame him there. So he got us over here today. We're going to wheel this bad boy because that's what we do. We can move a lot of concrete with these three Brentwood wheelbarrows with the dual wheels. We can pretty much move concrete as fast as you can pump it. So, and we don't have to rely on a pump or a pump clogging or breaking down or anything so that's how we do a lot of these floors guys i just get an, an extra guy or two and uh we have a concrete buggy too but these wheelbarrows are just they don't break down or nothing you know they're i've never even got a flat tire on one of these brentwoods they're just amazing and they hold eight cubic feet of concrete so you know that's 24 cubic feet of concrete every time we load those things so we can unload a truck of concrete in 15, 20 minutes, guys, with those wheelbarrows, believe it or not. So some people are like, why didn't you pump it? Well, that's why we don't really pump it. We don't have to pay for the pump, which is $1,000 usually. I'd rather give a couple guys a few bucks to help us, you know. But this is a really nice barn. He's got an upstairs in it. It's all board and bat and siding. His house is over there. So he wants to get his floor poured. And that's what we're gonna do. Stay with us. We're gonna be pouring 4,000 pound concrete here. We got wire mesh in it. We're gonna be pulling up the wire mesh with, uh, we got some potato rakes that we ripped that wire mesh up with. Get the stones and stuff underneath it. This is a, it's 4,000 pound concrete. It's got a light air in it, which is a air entrainment, which helps um, with our freeze thaw cycles because this building's not gonna be heated all the time so we put just a little bit of air in there we got our bulkheads across the doorways and we're ready to rip it's a 7 a.m pour on a friday so me and the boys are just waiting for the mud should be coming this way we got we put a cone out in the road we do that a lot to help the drivers so that they don't end up you know his address is going to put you down that driveway so we like to throw a cone out in the road. Helps the drivers get in here. Stay tuned. Here comes the mud, guys. Big Robbie just flew right by our cone. I mean, I sent him a pin, too. Hmm. Well, at least, he's, at least he's seen the cone. He ain't down at the corner. Here's the mud, guys. Circle T. This is our third pour this week. We've had a great week. Uh, they've been servicing us great we've been working late every night 315-963-2231 is this company best concrete in our area by far best service especially the service big robbie coming in hot baby there he is the legend got the newer truck here this truck's huge Watch his top there. You're just standing there. Mm -hmm. Don't let him run into anything. She's gonna get her mixed up. Look at that. Is it his birthday or Mike Regan's birthday? Happy birthday. Big Robin! Buddy, you drove right by the cone, man. We put a cone out for you today. Come on, bud. <laughs> we saved you with a cone. We could smell your brakes burning when you went by. Cool. No benefits, though. Oh, yeah. Right. That ain't bad. You gotta see how it looks coming out. Oh, you wanna start in that corner? Don't really matter. Yeah, right in that corner. We'll start in the back and work to the front. Oh my 
The old Brentwood boys, they hold some. Oh, old some. Um, yeah, old Black Betty. Go, Black Betty. Lambda Land. Oh, Black Betty. Lambda Land. We got old Betty, that wheelbarrow right there. We rebuild her. Oh, he filled you right up there, Gopher. Gopher ain't scared. Gopher ain't scared of that wheelbarrow. Alright guys, I gotta put this on a tripod and get to work. That's how we fill up them wheelbarrows though. Sorry, go for it. Yeah, biscuits got old old buddy wants to hold some mud right there. Big Robbie's in there laughing. Just filling them barrels right up. <laughs> I'm old. No, you're not. Exactly. Don't be scared either, you know? See the potato rake, guys? Hey guys, Bondo here. I'll try to walk you through how we did this pour here. Um, this, this garage here was 40 feet deep. And uh, of course we started in the back. So we start the furthest away from the truck here. And uh, like I said, with these Brentwoods, we can move a lot of concrete um, real quick. So um, that's me holding up the wire with the potato rake. You got Chris over there on the left and Mike. They both got the blue shirts on. Um, the other Chris is wheelbarrowing. Dustin's wheelbarrowing, Big Biscuit's wheelbarrowing, and uh, you can see how quick we're putting this mud down. And uh, what we do here, guys, is you can see Chris right now, he's got a laser stick in his hand. What he's doing is putting a concrete pad in where we want the top of the floor to be. That laser or uh, will set it right there to the top of the floor, and he'll trowel it off. As you can see, those little troweled off pads there, and we usually put an X on them. And then we'll take this screed stick and right there, Mike and Chris are pulling across those two pads and they'll get it level and then they're just going to mag along there. Then they'll check it again right there with their screed and they're going to do the same thing in the middle. And that's a 16 foot screed stick. So then they'll just use those two pads that they got there on the sides, one on the left and one in the middle. And they're going to pull right down through there. And then we put a guy in the middle or two, and they're called puddlers. Right there, Big Biscuit's doing that. And he's just going to puddle that out. He's just leveling. He's just raking the concrete. He leaves it a little bit high for them to pull off, but you try to get it as close as you can so you don't want them to have to pull a bunch of concrete back because it's a lot harder. So uh, they're going to do the same thing along the other edge of the barn here. You can see Chris is uh, leveling it out. And he's underneath the stairs there trying to get his marks. And right now Mike's bow floating it. We use a six-foot bow float there. And we, you can see he bow floats it in two different directions. And uh, the six-foot bow float really flattens things out. But you can see, so the whole left side there is all set. Chris is putting another pad in with the laser right there. That receiver that's in his left hand will beep exactly where the top of that is just off that laser. So all his marks are in, they're using the 16-footer um, again, and they're just leveling it out, getting their pad along in there, and then they can just pull it right across. They're going to jump right over, and you got, I think, Mike's underneath the stairs there, so that was kind of a pain. They had a bench along the whole side of this um, barn, too, that we had to work underneath. It was a little bit challenging, but we, we were able to get it. Let's talk about um, one thing here, how we do make a lot more money when we're pouring concrete because we don't use pumps. So um, pumps are more available in some areas, I've been told. But where we are from, we're from upstate New York. Um, you can get pumps, but they're quite expensive. Usually you're talking about a grand, thousand bucks to get a pump in there and an operator to, to pump it. So... Um, also, you have to schedule these pumps. You have to schedule them, and so, you know, these pumps are pretty busy, so you're not going to be able to just pour your concrete. So we don't use pumps much unless we really have to, or it's just going to make the job a lot easier because it's a huge pour, and we got to really 
get the concrete in fast. We might use an overhead pump or access is really hard. Um, we've used pumps several times where you can't get trucks in there good. And we, it's just going to be difficult to get a truck in and get another truck in and get the other truck out and wash out. Then we will use pumps. But um, I say throughout the course of the year, we probably save maybe $15,000 at least on not pumping concrete. You figure we do probably... I don't know. It's probably more than that. I'm just I'm just guessing. We probably do 30 jobs a year, and uh, if if half of them were something we would use a pump on, and we don't, we use the wheelbarrows. We save about fifteen thousand dollars right there. So um, could be more, could be less, but I'm just giving you an example of why we do what we do. We got the first truck all screeded out. We are going to take the Brentwoods and fill in these corners these corners and right here where I'm standing and then we can just kind of blast the rest in with the right out of the chute today. What? Ten gallons in there bad boy. Pick it up eight. Sure. Two eight. Eight gallons please. Right. You're good. I don't want to keep it up too bad. I also don't want to kill ourselves. Mm -hmm. Come out a little stiff, so we're going to add about eight gallons, nine and a half yards. That's about a four slump. You want about a five, five and a half. Coming down the middle, guys. We got our edges filled in here with the wheelbarrows and under the old bench. It's coming up the middle. We try to leave a hole here so you're not uh, taking it back out. I don't want to do that. we're gonna have enough mud which is always a good thing just finish 
cleaning things up, guys. We like to clean that too, right out, so that we don't have as much of a mess. That would be good. Got a little hole back here. There's a big hole, yeah. It's a big hole here. They're doing it like a camera. We're gonna make your cleanup real easy though for you. <laughs> Tell them why, teacher. So that somebody doesn't walk into it and smash yourself. Oh, no, I'll you can get that last little bit. Pick it up. I'll pick it up. I thought you said shoot down. No, shoot down because we're going to get the concrete come down. Then you got to scrape this one. I got you. Big Robbie, the yeah, legend right, right there. I'm out for the camera, Big Robbie. Yeah. Got enough in there? Man, that laser got me right in the eyeball. I swear. We will be, yeah, but we'll fill it again first. We're really making your job easy. Cleaning that thing right out. We're gonna, we're gonna have it right here. I'll tell you what, let's find her in a new set of snow tires. Need a couple more things in your way here. That's how we do it. That's the way we do it. We do it. Man, there ain't much pressure to your hose over there, buddy. Look at this hose. Just gonna mag it off and bow float it, guys. And then we're good. We got enough mud. That's a good thing on a Friday morning. What's that saying? They say we couldn't do it, and here we are doing it, Chris. Here we are getting it done again. And looking good doing it, too. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're just uh, shining her out. along nicely. Baby's gonna be burning in nice, nice and smooth. This should be the last hit here, guys. Looks pretty nice. feet on the floor and I'm going to seal it up until the white starts to come out. 
There she goes. I'm putting a water-based curing seal on here. And this will actually help with salt damage. We have a lot of salt here in New York State, Central New York State. So if you put this on there, it soaks into the floor. This white will disappear and it'll look really nice. Fills in the voids in the concrete and keeps the salt and stuff from going into the concrete. And it slows down the curing process. It'll cure quicker. stairs here. You're gonna love it. All right guys, Bondo here. What's the what we're doing today? <laughs> yeah, definitely almost beer 30. Almost the weekend. We're actually going to take Saturday off. Right. It's still not like this lately. <laughs> Nice little job. Definitely. <laughs> The sealer dries out. It looks really good. So we're good for tonight, right, Bob? No. <laughs> what, to go in here? No. For water. No water tonight. No water tonight. No. No. I'll cut it tomorrow morning and then you can soak it right down. All right, guys. I'm here the next day and I'm going to cut the floor. So I got my soft cut saw by Husqvarna. And I'm here by myself. I'm going to snap some lines and I'm going to cut one down the middle. I'm going to cut two the other way. Or yeah, probably two or three the other way. Probably, probably two, three. But I'll see how it lays out.